Good morning. We thank God for a brand new day. Trust you're doing well. So, here is half of 2024, running pretty fast. It's almost middle of the month of June 2024. Today, I want to pray for something we are praying for. Supernatural strength. Strength to run. You know, yesterday we prayed about Staying power, right? Not to give up, not to quit, not to cave in, you know, just because of some challenges or some no's you've gotten and all of that. But today I want us to pray, you know, so that we can have some acts, some great acts, you know, that will be written concerning us after us. So today I want us to pray. You know, there are times that you just feel tired. You just feel tired. But you know what the Bible says? The Bible says that those who trust in the Lord, they will find new strength. So you may be in that situation today where you feel, indeed, I actually want to run. Indeed, I actually want to do most of those things. I've had them planned out. I, you know, that's why I go out every day and all of that. Yes. But there are times that, you know, we just feel tired for some reason. And today we are praying. You know why? Because the Bible says that those who trust in the Lord, they will find new strength. And if you're in that situation today, you may even feel, oh, I'm good. I, I think I'm able to run. Still, there is new strength in God for us to run, to be where exactly we are supposed to be as at today, the 13th day of June 2024, in God's design and his, in His plan. Right? In God's design and in His plan. Based on whatever agenda you've also set yourself goals you've set just for yourself for this you know year 2024 the lord is able to give us brand new strength to run and to attain and to achieve and become in line with his plan and design and i want to pray the scripture from the book of first kings chapter 18 and this i'll be reading from this uh, let me just quickly see that I was going to read 45, 46, but I'm going to read from 44. And, you know, just a bit of context. Here was when um, the prophet Elijah, you know, had prayed for rain. He had prayed for rain where he was being harassed by King Ahab and his wife, Jezebel, you know. Then here he had prayed for rain. And the Bible said that he had chopped his head, you know, in between his knees and he was praying. He had prayed. He kept asking his servants to go check, to go check. Then verse 44 now says, First King 18, 44, now says, Finally the seventh time, a servant told him, I saw a little cloud about the size of a man's hand rising from the sea. Then Elijah shouted. So now here was the servant just saying, Oh, there's a little cloud. But you know what Elijah did? He jumped on that. It's okay. As long as you've seen that sign, then that means what I've prayed for is happening. And in the name of Jesus, for those of us trusting God for some specific things in the name of Jesus, that sign is going to come. That sign is going to come. And you know indeed your prayers have been answered. The Bible says, then Elijah shouted, Ori to Ahab, he was telling his servant, Ori to Ahab and tell him, climb into your chariot and go back home. If you do not Ori, the rain will stop you. And 45 says, and soon the sky was black with clouds. Now Elijah saw the sign that his, his servant that told him was just like a small fist. Elijah did not wait for the rain, right? He told the servant, tell Ahab to run because the rain is going to start now, even though the rain has not started. And that was a sign of faith. So tell him, as soon as the sky was black with clouds, uh, every wind brought a terrific rainstorm. And Ahab left quickly for Jezreel. So Ahab quickly ran as Elijah said. Then look at Elijah. Elijah told Ahab to run. The rain will catch up with you. But hear what the Bible says concerning Elijah. Because Elijah didn't run at the time when he said Ahab should because of the rain. And look at verse 46. He says, then the Lord gave Elijah special strength. Then the Lord gave Elijah special strength. 
He tucked his cloak into his belt and ran ahead of the horses, ahead of Ahab's chariot, all the way to the entrance of Jezreel. How amazing. I like the scripture because it says, it says in spite of whatever, of whatever could may have been happening, God is able to give special strength to a man to do the unusual. God is able to give special strength to a man to run ahead of horses. Imagine, ahead of chariots. This wasn't just one horse. Multiple of horses running, trained to run. Then how does a man just with his two legs run and outrun them? But the Bible says that the Lord gave him special strength. And that is what we are praying for today. We are praying, praying for special strength from the Lord. At times your human strength is not enough. At times what you can do by your power is not enough. At times, you know, what you can do by your effort is not enough. At times you want to do just like Apostle Paul said. My spirit is willing, but my body is weak. At times you just want to do. But then it's not, it's not you know, adding up. You're struggling. But the Bible says God is able to give you special strength. God is able to give me special strength. God is able to give you special strength to do what you're supposed to be doing right now, to do what I'm supposed to be doing right now, to achieve what I'm supposed to be achieving right at the moment, to be exactly where I'm supposed to be right now at this moment. God gave Elijah special strength and he took off and he got beyond the horses who are trained to run, who have gone ahead of him. Remember the horses went first, but the Bible said I'll turn. And God is able to do that for you. God is able to do that for me. And this morning, I just want us to pray this prayer quickly that, Lord, we ask for special strength. Lord, the Bible says, them who trust in you, they have their strength renewed. They have their strength renewed. You said we'll get new strength. Thank you, Abba. Father, we ask for special strength. To run this race of life in line with your design, your plan, and your agenda for us. Father, we ask for special strength by your spirit. Lord, special strength by your spirit. Special strength by your spirit. Special strength by your enabling, oh God. Father, to run. Father, to run and to outrun those that have gone ahead of us, to outrun those that have gone ahead of us, to outrun those that have gone ahead of us, so that we are where we are supposed to be at this time in your agenda and plan. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we receive speed on our feet. We receive speed on our feet, O oh God. We receive speed on our feet, O oh God. We receive increase on our ends in the name of Jesus. We receive special unction, O oh God, for, for special strength, O oh God, to run and outrun all until we are placed at that position where we should be at this point in time, Lord, in your agenda in the name of Jesus. Father, as we step out today, we receive strength unusual. We receive strength unusual by your spirit, oh God. We receive strength unusual by your spirit, Lord, to run, Lord, to become, Lord, to attain. Thank you, Lord. To become and to attain in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Lord, we may not know how. We do not know how. But we say, Lord, it happens by your strength. It happens by your enabling. In the name of Jesus, we will run and we will not be weary. We will walk and we will not faint. We will not tie, be tired. We will not grow weary. In the name of Jesus. Concerning the works of our hands, concerning our businesses, concerning our families, concerning our children, Lord, concerning your mission in our hands, oh God, concerning your vision for our life, concerning the dreams you've put in our heart, Father, we receive special speed, Lord, we run and we outrun until we become. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. Father, we say this is our portion today. In the name of Jesus. And things turn out right for us. Things turn out right for us. Things turn out right for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, why? Because you're carrying us. Because you're holding our hands. Father, and because, oh God, you are leading us. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' powerful name, we've prayed. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for strength. We thank you, Lord, for strength.
Thank you, King of Glory, for in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. And if you're there, you're yet to know Jesus or accept him as your personal Lord and Savior, I would want to invite you to say this one minute prayer with me. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. I ask that you come into my life as my personal Lord and Savior. I want to walk in your kingdom. I want you to walk with me. I want you to bring me, Lord, into your kingdom. Help me, O oh God, to live my life for you. Help me to live my life for you. Forgive me all my sins. Lord, I forsake all my old ways in your name. I come into your kingdom today, Lord. And I say, Father, I cross from death to life forever in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Because from today onwards, I am yours and I am born again. If you said that prayer, now you belong to Jesus. And is interested in everything you do well to get a Bible, maybe download it on your phone or something. Study the word of God and always, you know, pray to Jesus is waiting to hear from you. The Lord bless you. And if you can, please do well to send me a message to say I just said salvation prayer and I'll be glad to reach out to you. The Lord bless you. Do have a fantastic day. I declare speed on your feet today in the name of Jesus. In areas that you've struggled, in areas that you have been dragging and crawling, in the name of Jesus, receive special strength and take flight in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you. Do have a blessed and fantastic day in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.